The last time President Robert Mugabe met business leaders was in 2007. Then, Zimbabwe was in the throes of an economic meltdown. To avert a similar collapse, Mugabe is rallying the private sector to lead economic turnaround, with his government taking up the role of facilitating a conducive investment and business climate. A private-public partnership has been rolled out with huge success in the rebounding agricultural sector. Without doubt, such cooperation is largely responsible for the phenomenal success of the Command Agriculture Production Program, which in a single season has in enabled Zimbabwe to regain its food security. Captains of industry who attended the meeting hailed it as a candid exchange that should lead to more regular get-togethers. A raft of measures were quite somehow championed by the business. I think you heard our language on indigenization, on special economic zones, on the cash crunch, on localization in terms of domesticating the industrialization strategy itself, corruption itself. I think the language was quite loud and clear. Private sector players have been calling for a review of contentious empowerment laws and tougher action on graft to attract international capital. They committed to follow through on the issues tabled. In terms of implementation, let us take the burden upon ourselves as the private sector in Zimbabwe to say, look, after meeting the head of state, we know corruption is an issue. The only way we can handle such a menace, for example, is when we try to arrest it by exposing it. President Mugabe said government would address the infrastructure gap, in particular transport and energy, rein in government spending and shed off non-performing state-owned enterprises which are bleeding the fiscus. Farai Mokutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.